today we're diving deep into my childhood trauma and we're going to explore the world of passport bros, okay? As someone who is ethnically Thai... What more does she got to say? So what is and what is not a passport bro? If you love to travel abroad, you are not a passport bro. If you fall in love with someone who was foreign, you are not a passport bro. If you fall in love with someone in America who is a different ethnicity or nationality than you, you are not a passport bro. Even if you have a preference of women from a certain part of the, of the world, you are not a passport bro. What makes you a passport bro is traveling abroad to exploit women and then coming back and making really condescending content putting down men and women of your country and seeing some weird fetish on the internet, which is what we're going to talk about today. I found this TikTok channel called Passport Are You. I'm just going to show you guys. So this creator steals people's content and posts his own captions over them. We are not commenting on the people in the videos, but the creator of the videos. The people in these videos have nothing to do with this account. Okay. Back to the video. Why Colombian women are better. Colombian women cook, clean, are feminine, are submissive, not argumentative, give sexual access when you why ask for it. Why say it like that? Let the man lead. American woman do not do any of the above. <laughs> what? <laughs> He's implying that American women don't cook? You can see what we mean. This guy does not give a about Colombian culture, history, anything about it. All he gives a f is this chick's butt. I feel like these guys got snubs to be the line leader when they were in elementary school like <laughs> one time, and now they've spent their whole life chasing that high. I'm the line leader, the teacher says so. And now th that's how they want their relationship to be. <laughs> I'm the leader, so we're gonna go see Transformers 4 in 3D, cause I'm the man and I make the decisions. Hashtag men deserve better 2023. <laughs> Why you need a passport and then come to Thailand? Because beautiful Thai girls do not ignore average men here. And they date average men with no need to meet a bunch of dumb requirements like American women require just to talk. What are some of these requirements, bud? Having a car that works? <laughs> not currently being incarcerated. Yeah, oh my god. <laughs> just because I'm in prison, you won't date me? God damn. I actually really like how they emphasize the word average. It's like capitalized like four yeah. times in this TikTok. This is supposed to be fantasy, like vision board, Pinterest board <laughs> shit for these <laughs> passport bros. And even in their fantasy, they're mid at best. <laughs> I mean like at least like the alpha males, when they make content for themselves, they, they portray themselves as someone being like super like big and strong and like yeah. double alpha, like lone wolf, whatever, whatever. <laughs> at least the alpha males, like they would have been like, Come to Colombia because the woman here, they really appreciate a guy that journals and is a master of semen retention. Thai women don't judge the man based off his looks, weight, and height. Come to Thailand, you can be a fat piece of sh <laughs> and get a baddie girlfriend that's fit, feminine, and friendly. Hashtag get your passport, fellas. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine being this guy that's just minding his own business in Thailand and then like he sees himself in a TikTok of an incel with bad grammar who says like, you guys should go to Thailand because if this fat piece of sh can get bitches, then I should too. Like I'd be mad, dude. This is why men are getting a passport. They get the girl and because an average man, not a Chad, who makes between 20K to 50K a year is the top 1% in Pattaya, Thailand. Come to Thailand. So again, it's just literally a picture of random people. I don't think this woman's even Thai. Yeah. And this guy's just like, you know what, close enough. Let me type more of my incel manifesto <laughs> over this random picture. I almost want to go back and rewatch like the alpha male because it's like, Honestly, at this point, it's like refreshing to yeah. see a bunch of dudes like believe do a, in themselves. Believe in themselves. <laughs> Maybe the alpha is not that bad, you know what I mean? I like, know. I'm at like, least it's telling guys like, hey, you can do it, you know? And like, yeah, there's a misogynistic undertone, but this is like, you can't do it and we're still misogynist. I know, it's like weird. It's like weird to read all this. Move somewhere where everyone's really poor and then maybe you'll have a chance. <laughs> what? 
There are some places where in my fan fiction, people have really low standards. <laughs> <laughs> and now we have a post from one of my favorite websites, 4chan. These guys are absolute <laughs> demons. The title for this post is, Hoflation is real. And he says, to, to get a woman in America, you have to be six feet tall. You have to make 100K a year. You must look like a Chad. You must have a college degree. You must have six pack abs. Must work high status job. Must do the housework. Must have a nine inch D. <laughs> <laughs> the weird part is these guys always say like, this is the stuff that I don't have. But like, they've none of them has, have ever explained the qualities that they think would make them qualify to have a baddie. Yeah. Oh my god, I literally have active toe fungus and I have an active Pokemon Go account and I'm racist. And I post on 4chan. Yeah. I, the reason why I'm not getting bitches is because of my penis size. That's gotta be it, dude. <laughs> That's the only explanation. But he continues. He says, Oh my god. Meanwhile, Women are obese 30 year old, I'm not gonna say the last thing. My 5'8 granddad was a bricklayer and got to marry an early 20s virgin who stayed faithful to him and bore him six ch- <laughs> <laughs> Why is he telling the story <sighs> of his grandma as if it's some weird yeah. episode <laughs> of Game of Thrones? My grandma, she was young and Height. She was so Ew. hot. Ew. My grandma was a virgin, bro. It's like, dude, shut the f what the f are you saying, dude? But he's not done yet, oh ladies my and God. gentlemen. Modern men have to work five times harder than their grandfathers did for women 20 times worse than what their sexy grandmothers <laughs> were. This guy really likes his grandma. It's called hoflation, and it's destroying Western men's desire to be providers and protectors. Brother, what the f Dude, women these days are, they're not even a 1% of the woman my grandma was. She was bad as f <laughs> my, my grandma's best friend, Agnes, once that bitch takes her dentures off, it's game over God, for you hoes damn, out bro. there. You ever go into a, a, a senior living facility? And you're like, damn, the bitches in here, I bet you all used to be bad as hell. And you liked average dudes. <laughs> these anti-Chad type posts, Literally gives me the same energy as like the pick me girl video that I did like six months ago. I'm not like other guys. I'm a discord mod and I post on 4chan. Other guys might be over six feet tall, but me, I make weird fanfic about my grandma on the internet. <laughs> American women, 100 pounds overweight, two kids from five different men. Wait, 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 wait. How do you have two kids from five different men? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. I'm gonna be honest, I'm surprised the guy that posted this can even read. GED, works at a call center. <laughs> a specific kind of job. <laughs> I feel like you're more likely to find a foreign woman that works at a call center than American Actually, women. So it's kind of a good point. Two times salary in debt, over 30 years old. And then in quotes it says, I know my worth. Eastern European, Asian, Central, and South American women. Works out 5X a week. Eats healthy. No kids. PhD. <laughs> what? Successful entrepreneur. No debt. Under 30. <laughs> so, so women in other countries are under 30 and American women are over 30. We're just adding some random sh to like these women. Like yeah. at, at this point, they're, they're just caricatures. Foreign women, actually, they all have removable vaginas and adjustable <laughs> And nipples. Dude, foreign women, they can complete Ninja Warrior. <laughs> foreign women were like my grandma, baddies. <laughs> the only people I can even compete with my sexy ass grandma are foreign women. A couple weeks ago, we reacted to Boyfriend ASMR. Yeah. And honestly, I feel like this dude is just writing the script to like his girlfriend ASMR. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm a 19 year old super hot virgin that looks like your grandma from Ukraine. And I actually think it's kind of cool that he posts on 4chan. <laughs> I'm a Ukrainian girl with adjustable nipples with a PhD and I work out five times a week. And I would rather date you than your super hot cousin named Chad. You're just so much better because you're the average dude that's mid at best. Oh yeah. Oh. 
Okay, so I found a channel on YouTube. I'm not gonna show his name or face. And his whole thing is that he is a self-proclaimed passport bro. And he makes videos to teach men how to be a passport bro. Now the goal of this channel and, and this video in particular is you know, to open your eyes a little bit about the opportunities that you have as a man, as a Western man, particularly an American man, but probably other Western. I mean, I, I, I love the cuts. And he does it throughout the rest of the video where he'll just cut in random videos and pictures of Thai women. This is just like his resume to try to tell, you know, all the other passport was like, no, I have credentials, I promise, please, please watch me. So a little bit about my story. I'm 35 years old. Uh, I went left on this journey when I was 33 years old. And I spent 33 years, you know, giving American women an opportunity to date me. What a way to put it. This whole thing of like men are their prize is so weird to me because if you look at any like the super sexist, like boomer, James Bond, like sexist sh yeah. women have always been the prize. No, I am a, a, a good guy, a nice guy, but I'm not a pushover. I consider myself a leader. I'm decently attractive. Some people might argue that. Uh, be nice in the comments. I'm college educated. I got an IT degree and I worked, you know, over five years in IT, make really good money. Uh, since then, I've created some online passive income revenue sources. These guys just fundamentally misunderstand what's important to women. They're always like, well, look, I'm, I'm okay to be around and I make good money. So what, what's the deal here, ladies? He never once said anything about what it's like to be with him. Is he fun? Is he funny? Is he nice? Is he a good listener? None of the that actually matters to women. Women are so, um, God, I feel like the expectations of what they want is so high, yet their side of the street is not that clean. It seems like to get an eight or a nine or a 10, you need to be like a multimillionaire, uh, six foot three, ripped, um, have a ton of other girls chasing you, uh, you know, at least 10,000 followers on your Instagram. <laughs> What is this? What is this? And a partridge and a pear tree also on top of it. What 35 year old woman cares about how many? I mean, he's probably not dating 35 year old <laughs> women, to be honest. I thought about it for two more seconds while I was talking. <laughs> he's not talking about 35 year old American yeah. women. He's talking about 18 year olds. Yeah. It's just like, oh my God, like all the women these days, all they want is a guy that has a million TikTok followers with Ohio rigs and look like a cat boy that has golden retriever vibes. They all want you to help them with their algebra homework. <laughs> they want you to know what Roblox is. <laughs> Why is it that all the women in my age range for dating are named Anna and Elsa? <laughs> Tinder has like 75% men to 25% women on that platform. So you've got sixes and sevens on there getting chased by these pack, huge pack of guys and it makes them feel like a 69er. Have you heard that term before? It's like where a, a six thinks she's a nine because all these guys are propping her up and they all chasing her. Listen, gang, if you know these kinds of terms, it is, it's, it's over. It, you're a lost cause. <laughs> Honestly, the boy math is boy mathing. Boy math is a minute ago, you just said by your own definition that you are not a 10 out of 10 Chad man, like you're not over six feet tall and multimillionaire, 10,000 followers on Instagram, whatever, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Yet, two minutes ago, you were talking about how you were upset that you couldn't bag an, an eight, nine, or a 10 out of 10. Yeah. If you would rank yourself lower than a 10, by your own standards that you set out, by the way, yeah, yeah. why do you think you are entitled to a 10 out of 10 baddie girl? And I even, I went on a one week boot camp to learn how to do day game and night game, which is where you go out and you approach women, skip the online dating and just walk up to them, say, hey, I think you're really beautiful, try to start a conversation, then you know, get the phone number. Yeah. I'm surprised that the like alpha male dating coach advice didn't work either. Yeah, he, he like signed up for prank invasions, you know, yeah. night game thing. And, but he, he tried to do mommy makeout day in real life and it just like never worked out for him. Yeah. He's just like, what's up guys? We're in Bangkok, Thailand and today it's tickle my ball day. So if you flip a coin and it's tails, then you have to tickle my balls. And he's surprised that, that it doesn't work. The thinking in, a, in the Western culture has developed into um, men are the problem. 
what entitlement and arrogance that is. Like you see it everywhere. Just pay attention to the, your commercials nowadays. It's like uh, they will, if they're gonna pick on somebody, they're gonna pick on like the white dude. They're gonna make him look like oh, like some type of caveman. What universe does this guy live in? <laughs> He's like specifically talking about like the Geico commercial, like the caveman commercial. <laughs> oh, the white guy is the caveman that doesn't <laughs> know that you can that you can save two hundred dollars using Geico. The person of color, green, LGBTQT. Get go! Oh, he gets it. He, I guess, I guess that's where we're oh, at right now. Sorry, sorry, I'm not a gecko. <laughs> you know what? I miss the days where it was beefcake white daddies on screen, like Mr. Clean, telling me how I need to wash my <laughs> table. Oh, you know those those biracial kids in the Coles commercials? F them. Yeah. I need I need the white guys to show me what my six year old would look like in a tutu. I don't know if you guys have heard, but this past month there has been news in Colombia that a lot of these passport bros are um, getting murdered there. They were lured in via like some sort of a dating app or something, and then they're robbed and then they're murdered. We're not saying that they that these people deserve to be or anything like that, but we are saying that like just be careful. I feel like a lot of these men again they fantasize. They think that going to overseas is like going to Narnia, Wakanda, whatever the. F and they, and they think that these women are just walking around like unicorns in love with them, ready to f them. And then they don't see these people that, as people who have real lives and real motivations and are actually living without their money, you know? And people are kind of fed up with it. So just be careful. Just because like you're in a foreign country doesn't mean that you should let your guard down and think that these women are gonna be something that you haven't already, you know, seen. And with that said, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I know it was a little bit heavier than our usual content, but very important and near and dear to my heart. Please like, share, and subscribe, and we will see you in our next video.